It's Tuesday, March 12th, and it's been about eight weeks since I broke my legs, and I'm off to the hospital. I'm gonna have them, my legs, both my legs x-rayed, and hopefully uh, they're gonna give me a clean bill of health, take off the casts, and uh, I'll be free, I hope. And I've brought along something to wear on my feet because I've been wearing socks over my cast casts since they got put on. I missed my mark moccasins. I like wearing moccasins. Um, anyways, sorry the noise, that's my lift going back down, putting it away so that I can close the door. And get my keys that drop down into the door pocket. and we're off. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so today when I see the doctor, I think there are, in my mind, I believe there are three options that could happen. One, they're completely healed and both casts come off and this is something I put in my history. <laughs> or two, the one that wasn't broken all the way through is healed and I get one cast removed. And four, three, holy can't I count, there might be four options, third option, um, both still are not healed and I have to keep both casts, and who knows how long that would go on for, or the fourth option would be that they're not healing, um, I have osteoporosis in my legs because of their not being weight bearing because I don't stand on them. Um, so I think that that means it could make the healing slower. So that could mean surgery. So I'm really, really hoping it's not surgery and that it's, um, well, best case scenario that both legs are completely healed. So let's see how that goes. Well, I'm in the parking lot of the hospital. I've been to the ortho clinic. Four more weeks in the cast. One leg, my right leg is starting to heal. The left leg is not showing as much healing, if any healing. So two casts for four more weeks, but it feels like they've made them a little bit skinnier than before. So it's gonna be a lot easier to move around with them because they fit on my foot plate easier. That we'll see. I've only wheeled from here to, from the clinic to my car, but uh, I think it's better than it was. So maybe, maybe things will just be easier this, for this set of four weeks. Anyways, I'm, yeah, I'm disappointed. So I will update later. All right, well, it's actually much later, not just later. It's just over a week since I saw the doctor and had two new casts put on for another four weeks because like I said, just said, um, the my legs haven't healed yet. So I go back, now it's three weeks, so I've got three more weeks. Um, it's actually getting easier to be in the casts. I'm getting used to it. I think I'm building some strength for lifting my legs with the casts on. I know you might not think they weigh that much money, but boy, when you have to lift your legs with your arms and hands, um, they felt heavy in the beginning and they're actually feeling a lot better now. Plus, um, my legs weren't as swollen, so the casts are smaller. 
um, they don't feel as bulky they're easier to fit on my foot plates so I think um, this four weeks already seems to be going by quite quickly because a week has already gone by and I don't feel like it's been dragging so I'm uh, I'm excited to get to the next appointment and hopefully I'm not optimistic that my left leg is going to be without a cast when I leave there next time. Um, if it hasn't started healing by then, then we have to look at other options and I don't really know what that's going to look like, but we'll just see. So that's where we're at with my legs. But I also wanted to update you a little bit, or not update you, but just let you know that um, there may be a few things coming up. I, I don't have a lot of content because I'm not camping right now and it's not really warm enough to camp where I am and I don't want to go into the States. I have to um, renew my visa or my, wow, you know, the thing that you, my passport, holy cow. <laughs> Anyways, I have to renew my passport. It comes due in May, so, uh, I won't be traveling down to the States anytime soon, much as I would like to, but I am looking at my options going forward and um, my van, my minivan, just feels very small for camping in and it's always been a problem, but I've always felt like if I just try hard enough or think hard enough or watch enough YouTube videos, I'll be able to figure out how to make that work. And when I was really discouraged, when I'd broken my legs and I was still down in Arizona before I came home, I just thought, okay, I'm, I'm done with this van. I cannot use it for camping. It's just, it's too difficult. Even though I'd worked out a lot of problems and I brought a lot of stuff that I didn't actually get the chance, new stuff, new things that I'd brought to try that didn't actually weren't actually really working for me. Um, I have had a new shower set up, which I actually did get to try once, and it worked pretty good, but there's still a few more bugs to work out. Um, but anyways, I'm sort of right now torn between, do I keep that van? I love that van. It's I like the way it looks. I know it's a caravan, a Dodge caravan, but I love the color. I love the interior. It's um, a higher end model of caravan, so it's got a bigger motor in it. It's got um, darker windows, nicer rims. It just, it's a nice van and I really like it. Uh, so it's gonna be hard to get a, rid of for me uh, to part with, um, partly because of that, but partly because I did something in that van, which if you go back in my videos, you'll see that I did that. The, um, my very first videos were when I moved into my van and I actually lived in it for five months. And um, that, that was on par with a sort of a life experience with going to the Paralympics um, for me. It kinda, um, yeah, it just, so, <laughs> I don't want to get rid of the van that I lived in for five months and have been camping in ever since for the the couple of years since then. But but I'm looking at vans. I'm actually going to go look at a van tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to work out. The problem has always been for me that I have a very small garage and my van just barely fits in it. And if I'm going to look at something else to use for my camping, um, it needed to fit in the garage because the hill up to my garage to get into the house is so steep that I can't wheel up it and so I need to be able to drive into my garage but I also have somebody looking I'm trying to look at another solution for that and maybe being able to park outside up on top of that hill uh, would be something that would be an option so I'm I've got a guy coming to do a quote. We have a retaining wall, which is why we don't have um, very much parking at our house. Uh, the retaining wall makes the area beside the garage really narrow, and so there isn't really anywhere else to park. So I've got somebody coming today to let me know how much it would cost to move the retaining wall back and make more space. So 
I have a few things in the works. Um, I don't know how any of that is all going to pan out. I don't know if I'm going to get another van. I don't know if I'm going to make our parking area bigger. But that's where I'm at right now. So um, just thought I'd leave you with that. And I guess that's all for this week. So we'll talk to you again possibly next week. Uh, like I said in my last video, I'm not making promises about getting videos out on a regular basis because... I just don't have the content right now, so I will uh, see you when I see you. Thanks for watching.